This is Otabo. We are made in Africa. Because the kind of energy you put into writing a book is much more than you just sitting down and talk. Um, it's a period of the coronavirus where everyone is forced to stay, you know, at home, locked up in their room. You know, I just uh, wait for everything to fall back into shape. So I'm doing exactly just that, staying in my bedroom, um, trying not to step out, trying to sleep, wake up and eat. But for for someone like myself, who is not used to this life, who is always on the move and always trying to do something, it's been a tough one. But the truth is, I try to, when I find myself in different situations, I try to adjust and then I try to make the best of it. So um, I'm making use of the best, you know, of this corona season. Um, I pray everyone gets safe. I pray we all, I pray the world survive through this and we come back stronger. But this is me um, trying to make the best out of it. So I said, okay, I'm gonna make like a video blog where I get to speak and say things from the honest and the most sincere part of my heart. So I'm gonna be calling this video session my truth. So this is my truth where I get to tell you the honest truth and not the truth. It depends on how I wake up in the morning. I can tell you the truth about my life, about what I'm dealing with, about what I am facing, about what I'm going through, about what I have been through, and what I have not been, what I'm currently going through. I'm going to tell you the truth about everything and I'm not going to go back. Or sometimes I might just switch the political aspect and um, deal with some real topical political issues, some governmental problems, some society problems. I might just take shots at people and say it exactly the way I feel because it's the truth. Um, I might also just sometimes swing into my industry and um, tell some truth about my industry. And, uh, Okay, we will be back if uh, I think I'm hearing a noise somewhere. Okay, I think it has stopped. But anyways, I'm I'm gonna be telling some real, real honest truth about a lot of things. And um, guys, I'm sure you enjoy it. So for this first video, there's there's a lot of things that I've I've been dealing with a lot of. I've been dealing with a lot in the last two years of my life. You know, but sometimes I, the truth is I try not to let what I'm going through, um, what I'm going through show in my, um, in my outside look. You know, I might be dealing with some real, real stuff which I've been dealing with, um, but then I try not to let it out. You know, I always cover it with a smile. For the last two years, there was a point in my life I I went through a lot of emotional roller coaster. I I was depressed. I went through depression at some point. That's going to be another topic for another day. Um, there there were times I just felt like just you know, shutting everything down and just you know going away for just go somewhere, just get out of here. But the truth is, God has been faithful. God has helped me overcome a lot of these challenges. And um, for every time, for all, for everything I've been through, I've been able to overcome and bounce back stronger. So, but I've, I've been sitting down, I've been really thinking about a lot this period. And one of the things I wish I have right now, um, I don't think I would say I want money. Money is very important. But I wouldn't say I think my major problem now is money, you know. I will not say, um, I can't really point out anything that I can literally say it's the problem, you know, or something I really, I'm really desperate in need to have, but except one, and that is um, a family of my own. You see, sometimes people think this pressure comes with the ladies and the but no, it comes with the men. 
Um, I've been through, I've, I've gotten into one or two relationship, you know, and um, that would be a story for another day also. But the truth is, um, I'm still here, I'm single, um, and I wish I had a family of my own. That would be a good woman, I call my wife, and some very, very lovely kids in my life yeah you know that, that, that kind of trouble i need that kind of trouble in my life right now that kind of trouble kind of like make you forget about a lot of things like when you have kids they they help you forget things they they kind of bring a different joy and fulfillment to you so of everything i have achieved of everything i've accomplished i feel like there's just one thing i am um, i've not gotten right which is finding a good woman, loving her the way I should, going on my knees asking her to marry me and start making beautiful kids. Yeah, so for this reason, I have decided to take a bold step towards achieving this goal from today. Today is, um, let me check the date, I'm coming. Today should be 26, 27, yeah, 26 of March. Um, 2020, I decided to take, um, set the goal for myself um, by working hard towards finding the right companion and building the right family. And, and to achieve this, I, I have also decided to make some real adjustments in my life. You cannot get a different result by doing the same. What I mean is you cannot be expecting to get A or get, I'm sure you understand what I'm saying, you cannot be expecting to move up to this level when you keep doing things that push you on this level. So I'm in a point in my life where whatever that does not take me to this level, I don't want to be affiliated or associated with it. So having a family of my own, it's priority to me. Um, I'm finally keeping an, an open mind towards um, meet, um, meeting the right person and um, start having conversations and seeing how life takes us towards that direction. The first thing I would have to make an adjustment on is my sex, my sex life. You, know, you see, when you have sex, that's the truth. When you have sex, it's good to have sex. Sex is good. Well, you see, you get to a point in your life when, when sex, it's um, it's always in front of what you do. You don't make the right call. So I think I've made wrong calls in my relationships because I think sex has always been in front. Yes, and also I've made wrong calls. I'm also distracted towards settling down because. Um, I have, I don't want to say I have access to sex, but that's honestly what I can say because it's the truth. We actually live in a world whereby it's easy to find sex than have a hundred dollar. That's the truth. Sex is overrated. Sex is, um, sex is everywhere. And um, if you're not careful, you'll find yourself in a situation where you are throwing a lot of good stuff away. Uh, you're not heading towards the direction you should head because you've been distracted by the things of the flesh. So I am picking up the habits or I'm adopting the system of celibacy. I am, uh, it's not, it's going to be very difficult, but I have decided to go on a celibate route um, for as long as God gives me the strength to find the right person. Um, to settle down with, I am going to I'm going to work on this part of my life and um, keep my sexual urge to myself and ask God for His strength to overcome every uh, craving of the flesh. Um, so yes, from this day ends for this guy. <laughs> 
was zipping up. <laughs> so yeah, that's, that's the first thing. The second thing is um, my environment, which is something I've done recently. I've cleared my environment. I've, I've weed out some unnecessary things that I don't need, some unnecessary distractions. But I think I, I have, I still have some um, weeding out and clearing out to do. I have to do that. And um, also, I need to grow more in my spiritual life. I need to get closer to God. And then I have to make some adjustments in my career. This adjustment will help balance my financial state. And um, with all of this, I'm sure um, God's directions and His grace will lead me towards um, meeting the right person and um, going towards the right direction. So guys, my first video, it's um, me making decision on, on my sexual life and me deciding to go uh, to the celibate route. Um, I'm literally automatically going to be a virgin from this day. So help me God. Um, I have two gentlemen that, that lives in my house. I have one well, like brothers to me. I've also spoken to them to, to try and also see if they can give this thing a shot. Well, it seems like it's a tough call on them, but in life, when you get to a stage where something is very important to you, then you must do what you have to do. So ladies and gentlemen, um, I'm going to be here telling you more stuff, uncovering a lot of more truth. I would say, um, stick around, click the subscribe button and the notification uh, button, and uh, keep enjoying my video. And then I will see you soon. Thank you.